What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> Kurt oh, fired up it's today. Been a, it's been a it's been a minute. Damn. <laughs> is that sti- is that stinger gone from it's your neck? Gone, man. You don't see. You ain't, I used to be like this on the boy Limber. <laughs> I'm I'm I'm. What's up, dog? What? This is my first day seeing you, so. What's up, man? How, I'm, how I'm, you doing? Yeah, I'm, still, I'm glad to be back. I'm still riding the wave, dog. All right, well, we ain't talking about it yet. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll save the wave. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, obviously, besides Joseph's fight, we had a, a pretty good, we had some good picks. So, uh, I guess we'll go through them. It's time. Joey. Sir. How do you say this man's name? <laughs> Ignacio... Bahamondes. We both picked him. Yes. Uh, I had no pick, but you picked uh, Loopy to win. She won. Uh, we both Loopy. Lo- we, we, she we, just gave me the file. I got to shout her out. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we both lost on Chris Curtis. That was a super close fight. Could have went either way. Sad um, for my man. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of happy for Kelvin though to get back. I feel on like track. Chris won. Was, there was a headbutt situation that I was kind of controversial, and he won. He, if you look at the stats, he landed more by like 15 punches. Yeah, but but why does he not grapple a little bit? Why do why I don't? How do you think you're gonna make it through the? A My mixed man likes art? his body shots, bro. I you truly can, don't yeah, know. You're you're a great boxer, right? No, but. You're a good boxer. You're a good boxer, but you do have some grappling. My thing I'll take is just, good how boxer. do you think you're going to go through the MMA without grappling? This is like the second performance I've seen like this. I can't answer this. <laughs> I don't know, brother. It's nope. mixed martial arts. Um, Raul Roas. Sock it. You picked him. I don't even care. Mm. Rosa Jr.? Mm-hmm. I really did. Rosa, yes, you picked him, and you lost. Yes. Well, you know what, you little fucker? You lost my shit now, so... Can we stay uh, here for a second? Oh, go ahead. You want to just run run the picks? Yeah, we can go back to him though. Right, cool. Kevin Holland. We both picked Kevin Holland. Um, I picked Rob Font. My boy looked on fucking fire. You picked Adrian Yanez. Mm. You lost. <laughs> uh, we both picked Masvidal for the value. It was a good pick. I still. Yeah. And then I picked Izzy Moneyline, and you had Izzy KO or Izzy by decision. So we both slammed that. I knew that shit was going to be a finish, bro. That was Izzy is the man. One he we is. had a. We had a run in with him at the weigh ins. Yeah. He was super cool, super respectful. He's a big fan of you. Seemed like he was a fan of mine as well. So I think he was a bigger fan of you. He gave you the compliment, like, not me. He, he like, said, This motherfucker's like, Yo, yoked he was up. Like, Yo, you're bricked up. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, dog. But uh, Izzy's cool as shit. I'm a fan of him. He's a fucking beast. For him to get him back and then hit him with the fucking. Mm, tri- that, was, that was sad. With the triple dart. It's crazy because before he put this post up, I was thinking, I forgot who I said it to, but I was saying, like, you could tell about how fast he did it. The dude really meditates and sees the yeah. things that he's going to do because his reaction to the knockout versus the celebration. You well, like, he manifested, too. He like, did. he fucking, yeah. like... And then he posted the picture of him in the back mm-hmm. doing it. And I was mm-hmm. like, but this was before it came out. Yeah. And I'm like, this dude, he don't... Like, sometimes it sounds like he, like, a little lion, like, you mean you saw that? You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, But I truly do believe, like, he sees... Did you see the video of him in camp drilling the scenario of when um, his sparring partners would have him pushed against the fence, and they're swinging, swinging, and then he counters with mm-hmm. that? So it was just like... Remember how Masvidal hit Askren with the flying knee, and they yeah. showed the video of him yeah. practicing Connor, the back? Yeah, Same thing. For sure. So, well, people, I mean, don't, people, people that doubt it, it's crazy to me, because when Pereira... That was so smart because when Pereira like starts bombing you, mm-hmm. everything's from his chest. Yeah, and nothing yeah, yeah. comes back to his face. Nothing. Mm-hmm. And so that yeah, bro, yeah. money. Yeah. And I was happy because he didn't talk. Like Izzy didn't do all the like the flamboyant shit he usually yeah. does. It's like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He was he was like He was in the doghouse. He said he said in his um he has a good ass series on YouTube. He's like, yo, this is all or nothing. He was like, This is my fucking do or die. Like mm-hmm. if I lose to this dude four times, like it's a wrap. So I think his one win erases all that other shit. Like, he fucking... No need for them to run, fight again. Uh, Prayer already said on his YouTube channel he's moving up to 205. So, um... It's a done deal. I mean, it's a great yeah. it's a great story. I think it's a great, great hey, story. Listen, great, you no, I talk, called that shit by knockout. You want... Yeah, well... Rosa? You want to talk about Raul? Raul? Raul, Raul Rosa Raul Jr.? Raul need to yeah, go back th- to school. Listen, <laughs> I think I meant 18 years old. Yeah. Take two... Like, who... So I think O'Malley said it. Take two, three years off... Just go get better. Just so go, literally leave go the UFC. Train. Not like you're not leaving the UFC. Just don't fight. Just take two years off, which he can do, and the UFC is going to want him to develop. Because if not, they're going to put him in there with another grown man. Yeah, and 
he's gonna he's gonna lose again. That's what I was and trying to say. He's gonna lose like, again. Like 18 years old, you are a fucking kid. Boy, like yeah. you're a little kid. Yeah, but here's what here's what I can't stand is that whoever's in his corner doesn't didn't tell him this. Didn't give a fuck about him, clearly, because you're going out here. Like he talked more res- reckless than me in the media. Yeah, but maybe they're maybe they were just fucking sipping the Kool-Aid. Like maybe they just believed they truly believed it. And obviously it didn't work out for him, but um I mean he was eighteen years old. Fucking seven and zero. Like, I'm that's sorry, pretty guys, fucking but good. If, you're, if, I, if you guys heard me going out there saying I was going to submit Rodolfo Vieira, yeah, like you guys would look at me like it's not know. like the like like it's not like the I NBA know what you're trying you're like, to say, but like at the end of the day, his guys have to back him, you know. Mm-hmm. And now like all the success, he, like oh, he's doing great, and he's all these people are he's in the game and all this shit. So they're like, yo, like we got this motherfucker. Like this guy, like this kid's going to be a world champion, and I'm sure one day he can be. But well, him got, and Bo Nickel bumped me out of the game. So screw he's got to, he's got to, a motherfucker. I'm not even in the game. He's got to take his time and develop as a fighter, and I think he'll be better off, and he'll be he'll come back. I like, know he made he's clearly team. talented. Like he's 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 a good he's a good fighter. Yeah, he's just, I didn't get to watch it. He's just not Gr- there. Yet. Grown man strength is not just a saying. It's no, a real it's, thing. It's, bro, it's, a, it's a it's a real thing. From where I was at when I was 20 years old to 25 to now 30, like Yo, I'm 25. Bro, right? hell <laughs> yeah! And I feel like the 35 year old me, like bro, like yeah. you can look at someone when they get older, like you just get like denser and your mm-hmm. muscles just like. You just get fucking stronger. Like it's a it's a real thing. So um yeah, you just gotta take some time and develop. But uh hey, it'd be like that sometimes. I didn't know you could take the years off because that's, yeah. that's what I was asking. Like, does he like dance? So what do you do now? They're you not gonna cut him. No, the they hardest pla- bro, nah, he's a teenager. They put yeah. all that fucking push behind him. They're not gonna be like, oh, just go fight somewhere else, which And he can do it because he's got almost four hundred thousand followers. So if you can't make a killing in sponsorships outside yeah. of the UFC to be able to like take Oh the he time can hundred percent afford fight, yeah. He'll be alright. Fucking kid probably stole his at home. The fuck? Mm. Like gotta go to school on you Monday. Know, like, fuck. Uh what uh, else was that? That that was damn and it, you said I was at Buffalo Wild Wing man. I was drunk. You see how emotional I get when I'm drinking? The text I, I was it. sending you I loved it. It's from the heart. Bro, that's you were at Buffalo Wild Wings? I, I did. Six I don't Long want, Islands. Yo, on listen, the bill, man. I'm not, I'm not one of these What'd guys. You do? That's like, I said six Long Islands on the bill. I was done. Six. <laughs> I was done. <laughs> <laughs> six. Uh, who were you at? I was with Ito. Ito? Yeah, man. I was with Ito. Right. Uh, we moving on man. to the yeah, uh, we'll, we'll card move. for this weekend. Yup. Holloway versus Allen. We did no research for this card. We will. We're just going to fucking pick just fucking what we fucking think, Joey. Right <laughs> off top. Max Holloway, Arnold Allen, go. Holloway. Same. Yeah. Only person I'll ever pick to beat Max Holloway Volk. is Volk. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's become not the gatekeeper of the division. He's the gatekeeper of passing the torch to the yeah. new age kids. And so yeah. far, they've all failed. Giga. I think Arnold Allen is going to guess. Yeah. But I'm saying By Giga. round three, ha- ha- guess. Uh, uh, He's not going to run through Max the way he ran through Dan Hooker. Mm-hmm. Like Max is, he is destroying the new school, bro. He's yeah. just destroying them. They they can't. Edson Barboza, Billy Q, Billy Q. Me too. I think Pick the pace. He's a tough them. fucker. I love Edson. I fucking he's probably the best striker that's ever been in the UFC. But um, like Bryce Mitchell, like just being tough, and I, Billy's the same way. He's a fucking dog. Like yeah. him and uh, he's him and Shane Burgos fight, bro. Hmm. Mm. That yeah, was, but Barboza can't take the same kind yeah, of damage. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So oh, Barboza. Yeah. All right. All right. BLQ, I'm sorry. You take the next one because I can't pronounce them. Dustin Jacoby, Azamat Mirzakhanov. Respect. Respect. That's how I'm a, I'm a say. I'm going to pick Dustin Jacoby because I'm, I fucking like Dustin. I'm actually going to pick uh, the Amazat guy. Because he's 12 and 0. Because he's 12 and 0 and he finishes guys on the ground. Um, Respect. So uh, I do think that that favors him because mm-hmm. he has a lot of ground and pound finishes and Justin uh Dustin Jacoby is a kickboxer. Yeah. So um yeah I'm gonna go with the uh the Russian guy. He's got a couple submission wins too so that's what I'm going with. Tanner Bozer versus I how do you say his name? Ian Kutalaba. Eon Kutalaba. I am fucking tired of betting on Ian Kutalaba. Tanner dude, dude he's he's bricked up yeah. dropping down the <laughs> dropping down the light heavyweight. Yes. He looks good. I'm gonna go with my boy Tanner, Tanner Bozer. Bozer. And when yes. you bet, bro, you have to have a I am fucking, shit list. You I have, have, have lost a, in the past because of Ian Kutalaba. Yeah. Chris Curtis, unfortunately, I'm not saying he's bad, but he's on my don't bet list. Like, yes. you just can't. So it's like you have to have. So Ian Kut- Kutalaba, yeah, he's on that Booty. list. <laughs> Booty cheats. Yeah, you have to have a shit list. His bro. style does not match his chin. 
Pedro Munoz versus Chris Gutierrez. I'm going Gutierrez. I think he's going to chop up uh, Pedro's lead leg. And I don't think these that, are two big leg kickers. I don't think that Pedro is going to be able to inflict the same damage with a kickboxing guy that is better at calf kicks. Mm hmm. So I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's not. I think it's going to be a decision. I don't think anybody's going to get finished, but I think Chris can edge it out. I'm going to pick Chris as well. Yeah. Clay Guida, Hoffa Garcia. We're going with Clay. <laughs> yeah, he's we're, we're going with Clay. Vayner Sports, the Hook. best goddamn sports fucking. On this here side of the Mississippi. Management on the this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> I forget. Do you like fishing? No. All right, well, screw Sean. I want to go I think fishing that shit with Clay Guida at some as point. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> my brother and my dad, these motherfuckers love. Bro, my brother Brad's fishing right now. They love that shit. I think that shit is boring. You have a brother named Ryan too. Ryan. Yeah. Bro. Brad. I'd be like trying to stalk and see like, man, do they look like? Nah, Brad, I never met any. Ryan, I, I met Brad. Jimmy. Ryan. I met Brad because he's the construction guy. You're gonna meet them at the wedding. Yeah. Ever, and he'll probably call you ugly as shit. What is first ugly thing he's gonna say? <laughs> Who is ugly ass yeah. boy? My right brother here. Ryan's out of pocket. He just you gotta just you gotta, you're gonna you gotta love him. You're gonna love him. You're gonna love him. You're gonna love him. Who but the yeah. fuck is this ugly ass boy right here? That's yeah. fucking yeah. that was me. That's Ryan. No but, filter. Um, <laughs> yeah, no filter. But yeah, so you want to go fishing with Clay Guida? Is that where you're oh, yeah, going? I, I would love to go f fishing. I've I'll fish off like a dock. I, I would like do a dock. I hate Bro, the water. Yeah. I like when, you, when you pack some good sandwiches, when you don't give a fuck about training. When you pack some good sandwiches, a nice fucking like lunch, and you have some music out yeah. there, and you're out there and you're jamming yeah, with a couple see, of your boys. Yeah, but I don't want to get sick. Like, I'd be cool like on a lake. Yeah. Like a lake. What's a We're good sandwich for you? PB and J? Nah, bro. Dude, fucking I turkey, love turkey and cheese. A good PB and J. Turkey and cheese. Bro, you turkey know you turkey, turkey and cheese? Uh, both at that point. Because <laughs> like, you're yeah, on a boat. Because you're on a boat, because you might both. die. <laughs> you throw some like, throw some chips on there, and you. Dang. You hear the crunch? Give, <laughs> give it the old smack. <laughs> Listen, I used to not... Uh, humble beginnings. Listen. <laughs> humble beginnings, man. Middle uh, class. Lower middle class at first, all right? I told you the, Lower middle class. Kids, that's middle class Bro, poor, I got brother. three brothers. It's middle class poor. Motherfucker, you, I'm doing you it ate, everything. I'm you doing ate, it now. You ate everything on your fucking plate. <laughs> um, all right. Clay Guida, what was next? Bill Algio, TJ Brown. That's a good fight. Hometown. Yeah. Who, uh, who you picking? I mean, I want to go with the... You know, Bill Algio. I think he's. I think he's tough. I think he's durable. I think he's got decent cardio. Only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is T.J. Brown's wrestling, but I still think Billy Algio can probably get a finish um, mm -hmm. and wear him down. So, and even if he can't, I'm going to pull with you know Bill. So, I'm going to pick Bill as well. You can take the next one. Brendan Royval, Mateus Nicolau. I think. Uh, I like Brendan Royval. I like how explosive mm -hmm. and dangerous he is. I, I think he's probably that. an underdog, and I think it's a good underdog line, so I'm going to go Brendan Royval. Oh, no, I'm going the other way. Really? I'm going Nikolai. That dude's a beast. He is tough. He's got some cool celebrations, too. He pulls out his fucking sword, <laughs> and he like slices the air, and he puts it back in. Pretty nice. cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Turds. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, Don't be can't. disrespectful. People, people, when they, people, people uh, I'm just going to, I, Jillian Robertson, she's coached by my boy, Dean Thomas. I'm going to pick her. He skipped what I just said. <laughs> Don't be disrespectful. You skipped them. They're, 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 it's their retirement fight. I think both of them are retiring, so I'm not going to pick anybody. I Who is it? I hope they both win. Double knockout. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Zach Cummins and uh, Ed Herman. Oh. I think it's a double retirement fight. Double retirement. I'm dead ass serious. But um yeah, outside of that, I'm not not too concerned with but it's a good uh good main card. Oh, uh Pereira Rodriguez is that girl from Contender with the little red hair. She beat that Brazilian girl. That was a good ass fight. Um Yeah, she beat Kay Hansen, Sam Hughes, who okay. just fought. Uh that's gonna be a good fight, man. That's Car gonna be a good fight. Card starts at eight thirty our time, so Pretty respectable. We have a busy day. Last last one that I want to say that I like is mm -hmm. going to be that Lando Venata. I like that guy. I like, I like he's Lando. fought some really mm -hmm. tough guys, and he's fighting that Daniel Zell Huber. Remember his debut? He came in. He almost beat Tony Ferguson. Yes, had him on fucking skates. Yes, um, I do think that Lando Venata is going to whoop this kid. This kid did lose to Trey Ogden, who just lost to Bahamondes. Mm -hmm. Um, not that he wasn't good, but you know, uh, I just don't think he's going to be able to deal with the experience and aggression of Lando Venata. Yeah, so it'll be good. All right.
But yeah, those are the picks. All right. Now let's get to what everyone has really came here for. <laughs> tell us how, how you your tell, week, us, tell us how your week went and tell us how your fight went. Uh so the week we got out there what? We got out there Tuesday, we mm-hmm. got to our Airbnb. Mm-hmm. We had uh 11 12 people in the house almost at all times, so mm-hmm. that was fun. That was good. Started the weight cut, um you know, did our media you know, did a good job of, uh, you know, getting the weight down early um, and and consistently. Not too much media. Not too much media. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Um, And then, you know, Thursday came and that was fucking terrible Mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit traumatizing. It was the hardest weight cut I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I had to do three sessions that day. Mm -hmm. You said because you were more muscular this time? Yeah. Yeah, I was more muscular this time. Well, I don't, don't, not to butt in, but I don't think Mm -hmm. your cut was like, that big i just think you're just your last two fights you weren't used to cutting that much weight like i always cut like 20 plus so like if if i see a certain number i'm like all right like this is normal to me i just don't think you've seen those numbers because like we were when your contender series fight like bro you were like easy 195 like when we were going out there this time you were 205 207 you know so your number was just higher so I don't even think that it was definitely hard. Like all weight cuts are hard, but yeah. I just don't think you were used to seeing those numbers that high. And it kind of was like, what the fuck? But I mean, it was easy, bro. Like, I mean, I not easy on the outside looking in like, yeah, it was a hard weight cut, but you got it done like relatively easy. We got you know? it done. You know, we weighed in, we did our thing. Um, I was pissed off <laughs> just mm-hmm. cause. Mm-hmm. And, uh, just and then you're Joe Pfeiffer and you're always pissed I'm, off. Yes, you know it's a good tool to have. And then uh, you know we had the ceremonials at 4 p.m. And by that time, I had. I have no idea who this is. I can't believe you had your ringer. What's wrong. a 717? Continue the story. I feel like I should probably answer this. I'm going to investigate this. One second. <laughs> you have to understand this is right Whoa. after the fight. There are important calls coming in and everything like that. <laughs> I had no idea who that was. So it's us. That's uh, Southern Pennsylvania, by the yeah, way. Robo call. They got you. All right. Cool. So yeah, you know, we did the ceremony wins. I put on what we walk in at. I was two oh three by the time four p.m. came around. So we put on seventeen, eighteen pounds, and uh, I felt good. You know, obviously, fight time came around. Fight day. Uh, we got to the arena. And I feel like you know there was good nerves there. It was a healthy nerve. Mm. It was a healthy uh, respect for this man, um, a healthy respect for the atmosphere, it being my first time pay-per-view and everything like that. And then, uh, you know, in the back, I kind of felt that. I was real quiet, did my thing. Started to warm up, kind of felt slow. Even though I wasn't slow, I felt slow. And then, um, I don't know, something kind of clicks for me every time I get like closer to there where I'm like, I start to hate this motherfucker. <laughs> and... Uh, I was just like, this motherfucker ain't taking shit from me. He's not getting an inch. And uh, we got in the cage. I think as soon as my song hit, I had no nerves at all. Um, and I, I was good. I felt, you know, I, I remember him clapping. I remember Sean clapping. I remember John like, fuck this motherfucker. Like, Dude, it was the walkout. It was stoic. It was, bro. It was. It was stoic. It was even like me just being on the outside. I was like. I was about to run. How did it feel from that from that spot? That was your great. first time coaching a UFC fight. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, just the walkout was electric. Like his song, like was it, it more it, enjoyable than than the, when when you the actual fighter? Because I was, I felt the, like the I was court. walking out to a fight. Like I was like, let's fucking go. Like I felt like I was about to fight. Yeah. Like the song was playing, and like we're like, let's fucking go. And Joey's just fucking hype. Like it's, it just, yeah, yeah. It yeah. felt it felt awesome. Yeah, like it felt like a movie. Yeah, it felt like a movie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when, when when I got in the cage, too. Like, obviously, uh, everybody said their piece. You know, I gave him a hug, and he said who he said. Jonathan said what he said, and Coach John. And uh, I got in there, and I remember, like, just being real present. Like, looking around, like, really looking around. At some point, I think I was dancing. You were like, dancing, dancing the to fucking his, music, his song, yeah. But I didn't mean to. Like, I, I didn't remember doing that. And then uh, I remember, like, talking to Coach John. I don't remember what I said, but I said something about, like, I was like, we going to feel this motherfucker out. I'm going to get this motherfucker <laughs> I'm going to get this motherfucker. And then, you know, he got in. I know I'm going detail for detail, but these are the things that really were, like, pivotal for me. You know, being able to be that relaxed, that present. I didn't need water. My mouth wasn't that cotton, like, when I was in there. So I didn't need the water like that. It means my nerves. I was really in control. I felt really good. And uh, 
and then by the time I would guess I was done talking to these guys and dancing, uh, you know, he comes walking in and I seen him like smirk at me when they announced his name. And I was like, all right, motherfucker. I remember saying like, I think I was facing away from him. And I was like, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the fight went how it went. Couldn't have been any more perfect for me as far as not taking damage. I, it, I don't think you got hit. I, I don't. I, yeah, I kicked so. a couple of times. Yeah, I, I got I got grazed on my mouth where it like pushed my mouthpiece down into my mouth. Yeah, but it wasn't like an actual like clean shot. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I knew I was real patient. I heard them. I heard what they were saying. I heard Coach John primarily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, wait, as soon as I get this motherfucker on the cage, I'm going to bomb his ass. What was the hesitation with the knockdown for? There was no hesitation. When he, he was knocked down and we was thinking, like, pound him up. Nah, A I couple of people said that to me, too. Yeah. I don't. I thought that shit, like, you were like, yo, it's fucking Over, done. Right? Like, no, this dude balled no, up. No, I, honestly, when he fell, yeah. like, and I, I started swinging, when I put my hand on him, I was waiting. He was hard shelled, right? Yeah. I was waiting for him to look up. Okay. To like see where I was and I was gonna crack him in the fucking face. I thought you were like Nah, nah, oh, nah, nah. Dude, I was just waiting. Dude, I was I like was a I brain got, fart. Nah, bro. I, I had 15. Listen, I was so calm. I yeah. wasn't like rushing to get the finish. I was like, I'm gonna keep hitting this motherfucker, yeah. but I wanted him to lift his head so I could fucking Who's drill. The ref him. That day, that night? Mark Good God, Mark God. From what I've seen, like you hit him, he fell, you hit him again, then he turtled. I'm like, to me, like that's telling me, like you kind of don't want to be there anymore. So you were kind of like you just took your, like you just said, like you were just taking your time. There was no need to fucking. Yeah. Like I thought it was about to. I thought one or two more, or even not even, like it was going to be over. So yeah, I knew it was a risky. And, and I must say, the feeling after they called it off was like, like straight rage. Like I don't know. Like I did the whole Hulk smash <laughs> thing. And I was like so mad almost. Like I was so excited, but I was so mad that like he just quit. You know, I, I feel like I trained really hard. I always say I trained really hard, but I feel like I trained really hard, but I feel like I got through a lot of things that weren't going my way this camp. Yeah. And for you to just curl up and quit, I, mean, I, you, I, you, I was I was. Mad. I don't think he, I don't <laughs> I think say you hit he him, quit. Joey. <laughs> you cracked him. Well, I did ask him after the fight on in, uh, Instagram. Yeah. I was like, yo, man, I was like, what happened? And he said that I hit him with a shot, that first right hand, mm -hmm. that like kind of took his vision away yep. and like had his like, he like couldn't see me that yeah. well. And then he said he doesn't remember getting hit when he hit, like he doesn't remember hitting the floor. Yeah. So it had to have been that, that, that not the left hook, but the right hand that hit him in the temple. And mm -hmm. then he said he didn't think he was on the ground that long, but like had no idea yeah, how he yeah, got yeah. there. So yeah. he obviously was yeah, hurt. Yeah, he, he got rocked. But I was like, bro, I didn't even hit you like that. The so man. I was like, all right, you, caught, you, you, you made great money. Yeah. You didn't take any damage or not. You know what I mean? But I'm saying you made your money, didn't take any damage. That's that's what you want. Did you cry? No, but let me tell you the perspective from the fan point of view. Me in Buffalo Wild Wings, with any of you guys fight, you can't tell me that I won't light the whole room up. So I'm <laughs> pacing. <laughs> I am tense. I'm fl I, feel, I feel flared. I feel like. So I told the lady, I said, yo, my boy's <laughs> about to fight. One, I was like, I need you to put the volume, because they don't put the volume on. <laughs> they don't put the volume to the main event. So I said, I need you to put the volume on. <laughs> I said, this is a local guy. This place should be packed. So you fight. I'm walking around with Ito and with, uh, Zorik was there. And I'm like, hi. I was like, if I snap, I told him, I'm like, if I snap, don't kick me out. I was like, I'm going to be chill after this. So. The fight. I drank the, six long. I did. Uh, I had six long I'm a, guys. I'm a dad of four. <laughs> it's the first time I've been out in a while. <laughs> so I'm on six long. That's why I was texting you. I'm texting you. Yo, enjoy the highs and drive the lows or whatever. I yeah, said nah. You. you said some whatever, good shit. Some shit. But I'm like, I'm, I'm truly invested. Like when, when y'all fight. Like, well, even when we were in Abu Dhabi, bro, when I say I felt like I, I would start this whole arena. <laughs> right. That's how you feel. You feel like I don't care. I'm in here with my boy. So. I was hype. I was hype as shoot. I'm, I'm super, super proud of you. Super Thank happy you. for you. Like I said, when, when people with like humble beginnings and humble stories win, everybody wins because like I said, like you, you said in some interviews already, but people can look at you and relate now. You get what I'm saying? Like, because everybody don't come from middle class or like a good, you know what I mean? But it's like when they see somebody come from dog shit and then they see somebody win like that, that gives, that's the inspiration that they need because we don't. I'm from North Philadelphia, dog. You don't have any inspiration. You don't see hope. And people don't understand that sometimes where they be like, well, or they'll tell you something like, 
well, if you could do it, anybody can do it. I'm like, that's not how I work in the hood. You know what I mean? Like, so it's not how I work in like lower poverty or people that come from shit. If you got no hope, no inspiration, then what the fuck are you looked to? Well, that's why I made it clear to say in the interviews, like without Sean there, like he's a big part of my inspiration. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's not a role model to me, but he's an inspiration. He's a leader because of his work ethic that yeah. I that I can't match. Right. You know what I mean? So I aspire to, you know, get stronger, get better. You know, because of him, I aspire to get better as a as a boxer, as a as a uh, you know a martial artist because of John and and trusting him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't I don't agree with everything that he teaches. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think that's part of you know keeping it true to my style and to what I like. Yeah. Um. But what I beat him with was what we fucking trained. What I drilled with him. What I drilled with our teammate Igor. Mm -hmm. You know the amount of ass whoopings that kid took to prepare me for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? My hardest fight was in the gym this this time, not in the cage. So and, and then Jonathan with jujitsu, like I was prepared everywhere for this fight. And uh, you know, to go and win, and then one of the things that means a lot to me is the picture. And I'll probably share it too many iconic, times. Yeah. The pictures mean so much to me. One, because of the like the primal instinct. Like I always like that because that's like that's my raw emotion, mm -hmm. like how much I care about this. And then, you know, jumping on the cage, you know, it wasn't just Coach John. Brady's up there, Jonathan's up there, and Coach John's up there. You know, this isn't just about, you know, Coach John and me. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is about my teammates. This is about my team. And, you know, that meant a lot to me, especially with how many people were able to come out there that supported and gave a fuck. You know, uh, it, it was a great week. It definitely was a long Dude, week. Don't week get me was, wrong. But it was long. Bro, we're like, we're a fucking family. Like, mm -hmm. bro, we roasted each other. So, like, we had so much fun laughing out there. Like, we had a good ass time. Like, Bro, and I know most Sean people, had a good ass. Time. Most people know this in the gym. Like, I don't travel for many people. Yeah. Like, I don't put my name on many people. But like Joey, like I love Joey. So yeah. the Contender Series, like I couldn't go to his fight, uh, his debut because I was I was getting ready for my fight. But um, to be there for him for a second fight, like my watching Joey, your his debut, like my parents were at my like it was me, my parents, and. Kristen watching at my house, mm -hmm. and I was nervous. Not nervous because I thought Joey was going to lose. I was nervous because, like, I wasn't there, you know? Like, and I was just, like, quiet, and, like, you would have thought, like, something was wrong. Like, my parents were like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. And then <laughs> I, after you beat him, like, I just had, like, just, I was just relieved, you know? And because sometimes, like, you care, like, obviously I care about my career, but you almost mm -hmm. care more about, like, your teammates because yeah. you worry about them, and you want them to do good, and you want, because you know what it feels like to be there. So to be there and to see him win and just, cause I, I was nervous before the fight, but I believed in Joey and I knew he could do exactly what he did, but you don't, it doesn't always go that way. You know, but you for know it who to made go a that good way, point, you knew it made a good point was Jonathan. He said, you don't really know where the guy, like your friend, your teammate, your brother, whoever it is, you don't know where they're at mentally Yeah. before a fight. Yeah. And I didn't have this like yeah. look on my face before the fight. Mm hmm. And for purposefully, because I was really working on like breathing and staying calm and not not getting too excited too early and trying to lay down. Like he was sitting next to me, you know, sit, we're sitting in a corner, this tiny ass corner, and then we're warming up. And you know, my legs are a little bit like a little bit like jelly because yeah. you're nervous type thing. But um, I actually watched because I I was on my phone more than normal this time. And I watched the John Jones thing, and he said, you know, I ride those butterflies. I ride those feelings. And some people let it consume them yeah. instead of using it to their advantage. You know, there's a little clip out there that's been going around recently. And it meant a lot to me because that's how I try to use it. You know what I mean? I'm scared. I'm nervous. But, man, I'll be damned if I go out there and I ain't going to fucking swing for the fences, dog. Like, you know what I mean? I'd rather go out looking tough and get knocked the fuck out and look terrible than – you know, just curl up and let somebody beat my ass for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm telling you, as soon as we got to the tunnel and I heard the Rocky song, I was like, let's fucking go, bro. Good and I song. felt stoic. Yeah. I felt stoic, yeah. you know? So, and then I watched the, I watched the walkout and you were clapping the whole time. Yeah. I was like, bro, we yeah. own that shit. So. It was good. I'm telling you, it felt like, it felt like I was in a movie. That's that a memory. Walkout. That's a memory. Yeah. It felt like we were in, like, uh, it felt like a movie, like watching the walkout and like, yeah. It was good, man. The week couldn't have went any better. Fucking us, Jonathan, Lloyd, all the guys from Vayner, um, Sarah. Like we had a, we had a squad out there, man. And like you said, like you don't have to agree. Like you said about Coach John, you don't have to. I don't agree. Like I was talking to Mike earlier, and for like me and you don't agree on everything. No. But I love you to death. 
I don't agree. Like, you don't have to agree with everything somebody says to be a good team. And I think, like, we have one of the best teams, you know? Like, I don't think anybody trains as hard as us. I don't think anybody is as close as we are. Like, bro, we're always together. Like, And, I, and look at it. Look at it. You're in the UFC. You're, you're, our, you're our top guy. You're the leader of the team. That's just what it is. I don't care if I never lose in the UFC. That's the leader of the team. You know, that's the general. That's the guy. Like, you know how they call Frankie Anna, Edgar the general. He's the general of our team. You are. Yeah. And people don't voice that shit a lot of time, and I can't stand that. And, and, and I was really upset with our team. Not upset with our team, but I was really, like, people don't understand what we have versus what other teams, you know, like puppy mills almost. Mm -hmm. You know, Killcliffe, they ain't, they ain't a unit like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I love our guy that was cornering against the other guy, but he was just as happy for me as yeah. as his boy just lost. You know what I'm saying? And, and I ain't got nothing against that. But, you know. Well, I, we're all homegrown. Like, yeah. we're all not saying, like, you've trained at other places before you came here, but we're all from this same area. So, like, that, that's what I think makes it special. Like, you were just saying, like, you grew up in North Philly. Like, I didn't grow up in North Philly, but I grew up in Northeast Philly. Like, I grew up in Philly my whole life. You grew up close, so, like, none of us came from money. None of us came from, like, yeah, like, I had both my parents, but, like, that doesn't mean my life was easy. Yeah. You had a hard life. You had, like, so, and outside of that, like, we do things together. Like, we go shooting guns. We go out to dinner. Like, we hang out all the time at Simon's, watch the fight. So, we're always together. Like, I talk to John. I talk to you every day. So, like, it's just, like, we're just like a family, you know? And then we beat the fuck out of each other. <laughs> but then we leave it on the mats where it's supposed to be. But we're all trying to just make each other better and just be there for those moments. Like, when you, when they stopped the fight and we jumped up, like, there's no better feeling than that. Than to know that that fight's over and like you won and there's nothing better than that. So yeah, well, the first people I want to see is who? Yeah, I want to see my team. Yeah, after the Hulk, yeah. I love that. I did yeah. that though. The Hulk smash. <laughs> yeah, that shit was tough. Like I watched that the shit Derek back, Lewis. bro. I had no. You should have. I had so much. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I had so much rage that I didn't know what to do, so I was like, you just, had to, "Just had to do something." <laughs> and then when I jumped up and everybody screaming, and this motherfucker, you never see him screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, you, it yeah. definitely does. Break it was cool shit. Head. But what I was saying, like the the main point, because I know I never shut the fuck up. Uh, it was like understanding that Coach John cares. Yeah. Understanding that this team, like j in the spot that I have, that's why I say about inspiration, like. There's youngins on our team. There's Christian Bobie. There's Manny Morales. There's there's Igor. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers kind of doubt themselves. Like, can I really get there sometimes? You know what I mean? Like, I've heard it. Yeah. And it's like, nah, bro. Like, absolutely you can. Now you have something to measure up. Like, Igor has someone to measure up against. Like, mm -hmm. yo, this kid's doing this in the UFC, and I give him probably some of the best rounds besides him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, that's why I'm like, I was appreciative, and then when I seen them all clapping for me, like, I've always wanted that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. I've always, you know, and I, not for my ego, but it makes my heart feel good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I knew walking out there, and when they were clapping and when they said what they said, and like, I'm sure you forget, but yeah. what they say, what they say before I walk in there, like, I feel those things. Mm -hmm. I don't just hear it and like, yeah, let's yeah, go, dude, yeah, let's yeah. go. You know what I mean? Like, that means something to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was just like, it was a perfect moment, man, and uh, I'll never forget it. And um, There's going to be many more. I do. Gonna be I, 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 I do think this. I, I said it to John. I said, "Yo, I think Joey might be a superstar." Fuck and yeah! I said, yeah. And I said that mainly because you, you have you have very colorful. Yo, that was my wait. That was my first pay per view card. But did I look like I was fucking feeling the pressure? No, it's it's a package thing. Bro, you, when I get in there, I was ready for that yeah. shit. <laughs> very colorful character. You're very you're very marketable. You're very yeah. transparent. You know what I mean? To the point yeah. where like, and you're very you're very honest. And I think that's what people really like learn to love about you is that but like, bro, that's why I wanted this yeah. sport. You know, these people saying like, yeah, he'll probably knock me the fuck out, but I'm gonna be fucking swinging. You're like, yeah, you're like, who yeah. the fuck talks like that? Like, yeah. who says like this guy will probably? Yo, but I swear to God, that's what levels me up in there yeah. to get finishes because when you let go of the fear of losing, yeah, changes. What everything, do you right? have to lose, bro? Go out there and be a fucking menace. Yeah, like that's why I was like. Even I was provoking him in the fight. Like, when he threw the kick, I was like, all right, go ahead. Throw it again, bitch. Like, I know you. That's all you got. Yeah. I know what I got. Just wait till I get to you, homie. I'm coming. Yeah. I like my chances against you now. I know you got a short arm. I feel like my jab could get to you. Little ass arm. Little ass. When the last time you even said <laughs> You're strong take my Take my strong hand. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Scary movie. The dude with the little hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> you gotta but, yo, let's talk about it. Sean... Sean Brady out there was a menace, bro. He broke people out there. This kid. What? Bro, he just broke people mentally. The roasting. 
<laughs> like not me, people, not me. Not, he didn't no, fuck people, with me. People, bro. We go. They were like, "Who is going, this?" Let me, going, let me tell you something listen, about, about busting. Like back in the day, I could not bust. I can't bust to this day. I, but now I hang with MMA guys that don't work no more. But when I was in high school, you try bust on me, I get physical. Oh, you're the you're yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, playing, stop yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But now it won't work in here. Ah, I think yeah. it will work. In it's still so it's people. it's it's fun. Like if I if I can't fuck with you, like I don't even want to hang out with you. Who got who was that bro, that, We that, ain't gonna that, say no names, bro. But yo, Sean broke people, dog. Yeah, we won't. We won't. He broke we won't, people we won't to. Yeah, of he broke people to the point that I was like, I, me, I was like, yo, bro. I was like, I think you know I that think shit he's really somebody be laughing. No, at somebody me, be like, what the bro, fuck you laughing at? Me like, and me and John together are terrors, terrors. Yo, Randy Brown, I'll say that Randy Brown got his. Ass handed to John me. gave it to Randy bad. <laughs> bad. Yo, that shout out to Randy Brown too, yeah. man. Like Randy the amount came of out. The, you know, your boy Simon, like oh all these people God. that came out there, man. It really like my strength conditioning coach got to come out there. My former wrestling coach from high school, yeah. which was the only wrestling coach. Sammy I ever O had. for uh mayor. Let's Sammy O for mayor. Um he does have an event on April twentieth. And he needs to get 100 people there. So we need to talk to the team and see if we can get them there. Because he'll get an endorsement just from that many people being there. I'll be there. They don't have to do anything. I'll be there. Joseph will, will be there. I will I'm not. Oh, I, I will be in Vegas. Why are you going to Vegas? Jeremiah's fight. Oh, yeah. 20. Yeah. I'll be there, though, for my boy Samuel. Yeah, that'll be a huge. So if you ain't doing nothing, let give that man a shot to change Philadelphia for the better. So This shit is struggling. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Council, city council at large, I believe. Okay. So All right, it'll be a big deal. Anything else? Any other MMA news? I did want to cover. I did want to know where do you think this? Because uh, where do you think these divisions or this situation kind of goes? Talking about uh, Izzy and Pereira, like Alex Pereira, where does he go from here? Two hundred five. He says he already announced it today. Moving up to two hundred five. Moving up to two hundred five. Yeah. Okay. And as far as Izzy, um, I thought Izzy should. I right. will miss the Pereira memes when they're like Izzy goes and becomes professional golfer, and then fucking Pereira said with yeah, the golf yeah, club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. You see the video of him crying in the back. Who? Uh, Pereira. No. What do you think about that kid situation? I thought that shit was hilarious. I loved it. Yo, I would do the same shit, I'll bro. Just, bro. Remember we used to talk about manifestation? Listen, yeah. I've been to a I would do the same shit. He had to mentally memorize where those kids were sitting to go find them. Like, mm-hmm. Bro, imagine. <laughs> uh, listen, imagine. He went like this. Yes. Imagine the Yo, demons. He fell, that man. he fell hard. He fell hard. Imagine bro. the demons, that man, and the nerves, that man. The level of nerves and... and uh, Doubts he overcame. Losing to somebody three times. To come back and beat somebody three fucking times. You know what those kids grow up to be after this? Losers. Villains, brother. <laughs> <laughs> they literally, ah. Every superhero movie, this the kid had a situation like that. Yo, the son's going to come f- back to get Izzy. <laughs> the fact that they were crying, too, it made it that much more better for me. I loved it. Yeah. I fuck, loved it, bro. Fuck hey, them, don't fuck, be a little asshole, kid. Fuck them kids. I can't stand kids like hey, that. Legendary Bernie Mac. Fuck them <sighs> kids, man. <laughs> hey, yo, you gonna do that to another grown man? You know what I mean? Get your kid, get your kids in check. Like that's, he didn't forget that. That's well, then that's what kind of like I seen. Prayer kind of said something about it afterwards. But like, if I I'm not a dad, but yeah. like, if I was a dad. I'm not saying he's a bad dad, but like my kids wouldn't, wouldn't be doing that. Right. Oh, yeah. Slap the fuck if out my, my kid, kid. And if my kid did lay out like that, I'd slap the shit yeah, out of him. Yeah, it's disrespectful to and, the arts. Yeah. Like just on that level right and there. And that's like, not child abuse, you soft fucks. <laughs> I mean, now it is. I, it now, is. Now, now it is. Bro, backhand. Let's bring back the backhand. You want front hand, backhand. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> fucking little ass. Joey's going to beat the fuck out of his kids. Nah, bro. I'm not. No, 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 he, no he won't not. because he better. I'm going to smack him for, for good installments of character. You don't do these fucking things. Hey, 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 hey. Good up job, up. little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> bro, no, honey, bro. You have, you have to, yo. You All have joking to, aside, you have, bro. You got your ass whipped growing up? Not my ass whooped. Yeah. But I definitely, I was no, scared. Saying, you got I was scared of whoopings? my dad. Your dad had whooping? My older brothers got whoopings. All right, I got whoopings too. I knew better. I knew better. Like, yo. Are you the youngest? No, me and Brad were. Uh, yeah. Brad's the youngest. I'm the second. I knew, like, if. I was scared of my dad. Like, not scared. Like, my dad's gonna kill me. Like, yeah. Like, my dad's gonna. Yeah. But, like, if I fuck up, like, I'm going. I'm. That's how I my, yeah. Like, I didn't get beat late in life. I just got beat up until a certain yeah. point. Like, or, yeah. or not beat, but if I did something, I got to. Yeah, you got, you got yeah, smacked. Got smacked. Yeah. yeah. See, I never graduated from that. Like I my just dad, got like aggressively, got fucked. Like up. my dad would make me, like, make me and my brothers, like, stand in the corner. 
Oh, yeah. bro. Stand Yo, my dad was a piece of wall. shit, bro. This dude forgot me. But my yeah, see, but see, my my dad. He would, would put me in the corner and fucking my, forget. My parents would fold. They'd be like, "Yo, you can come out in like five minutes." Nah, dog. This motherfucker this would Joey forget be there me. for for two days. <laughs> Bitch, Joey. I stood in the fucking corner for seven hours one time. This that's, motherfucker forgot that's me. That's child abuse. Bro, my knees, you want to talk about your back, my knees. That's probably why I got back problems. That's child abuse. Oh, fuck he yeah. said seven hours. Seven he hours. Did a, he did a day shift <laughs> in the corner. Yo, I would get punished, Sean. He needed shoes for crew. I can, I, can laugh about, I can laugh about this now, but I would get put in my room. For, for like the dumbest shit. Though. Yeah. Because yeah. I made him angry. Because yeah. I went in the refrigerator too many times. That was one of the times. I got sent to my room. I was locked in my room for two days. Yeah. I would I was not allowed out. That means... You didn't eat food for I two would, days? Bro, he would walk outside. If he walked outside because we lived Sneak on a, like a farm, I would run the fuck downstairs, grab some shit, run to my room. And I wouldn't go to the bathroom because he would hear the toilet flush. Bro. So I'd piss out the fucking window. You should have pissed on his fucking bed. <laughs> should have pissed on his face while he was in bitch bed. Bitch ass. That's the, fucking... The 90s did have some weird rules, though. Like, bro. You, you couldn't be running in and out. Yeah, I don't know what dog. the big deal was. Bro, he you hear the pantry. You running in and out. <laughs> well, we were... Yeah, yo, for real. Now, listen. I was cool with that. I stayed the fuck outside, but yeah. he used to call me, like, all kinds of shit because I'd be playing with sticks. He, he used to make me think yeah. I was retarded because I would swing yep. at trees with sticks. Go. That's the one. <laughs> we, we, uh... Oh, cut! <laughs> when, when, when my parents... Like, if the air was cut on... And we, if we kept going outside the house, my dad Snap, would get, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get mad. Like, yo, the fucking air is on. Like, he wouldn't yeah. beat my ass. But yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Now I get, now I got a house. Same AC thing, right? up. Hey, yo, close keep the door. door. <laughs> Hell yeah. But like when you get you older, like you realize shit, like kids are annoying as fuck, bro. Like I don't I have kids, but these fucking kids, kids, like I see these kids and people are always like, oh, like you're going to fucking love your kids. Like. That's cool one day, but these fucking kids be annoying as shit. You know what it is? Mm. Like, if you ever, when, when my kids are here, like, my kids get too loud, I'm like, yo, nobody wants to hear you yeah, cry. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, Parents I don't, don't people, say shit to their kids. I'm like, yo, don't shut the kids. fuck up. <laughs> nobody wants to hear another yeah. kid's kid. Yeah. Like, so that, yeah you get on the like, airplane, you hear some little ass fucking kid crying. Bro. Was it the lady who dropped the baby? I, I was awake for so long because I couldn't sleep on the plane. I knew the loop. Of the kids crying, I knew the 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 tune. It was like a song. It was like I knew I knew how long the kid was going to cry for. Stop! I was going crazy. I was like, I'd rather be dead than be on this fucking plane oh. right now. Yeah, that was the worst fucking experience Yo, of my life. That baby, bro. Bro. Yo, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I I did feel a little bit, even though I didn't like fight, but I I felt like Abu Dhabi was like a little bit traumatizing. Like Fuck it was just place. a terrible experience. Yeah. Terrible experience. They had good breakfast. What? I thought, the, I thought the breakfast was good. Dog shit. I am not even fucking being mean. The what did you have for what did you have for I breakfast? I had fucking French toast. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm Turkey saying bacon? what did you have at that restaurant we went to for your weigh-ins? He was like, he was, he did this oh, face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitter <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah. Because of this. <laughs> you would think you would you would think Joey came from money because the way he hates everything. You would think he would be happy with anything he got. This motherfucker would be looking at shit like just a bitter up class like, hoe, like right? When a, just, like just, when a dog just, like, just, like just grabs his lip, the scowl. I was like, yo, I was like, Joey ain't shit, bro. I was like, I Joey know. ain't shit. I become so fucking weak over the years, uh, man. I'd like poppy steaks though. That shit, I didn't fuck with no. it. That shit, no, bro. Now, that it, it bill like, had to be. <laughs> Eight thousand dollars. <laughs> it was expensive. There was like ten tomahawks. There was like twenty of us in there. Uh, that's listen. what John was explaining. Y'all didn't get to choose your food. They, they just they, we could have, but they were just like yo. But bro, wasn't that good? Damn. Nah, I was. I, was, I, I, was not I honestly just banging. ate it because I was fucking starving. Yeah. I was hungry as shit, and I was like, yeah, this shit kind of be seriously, yeah, bro. And then we pulled- I heard you were trying to go there. Poppy, I went to Poppy's. You went to Poppy's. Yeah, but I went on a date with my what, wife. Was it good? My, yeah. What'd you, what'd you get? If there was a porterhouse, I probably got a porterhouse because it's a filet mignon in a New York strip. Mm-hmm. Or, so it, it, I just didn't, bro, I just didn't fuck Wasn't, that. wasn't, I mean, it wasn't horrible. I think, no, it wasn't horrible, but I think uh, Herbs and Rye in Vegas Herbs was much, Rye much was better. was great too. I did, we, it was we, bang. We, we were Reggie. That was slapping. I'm more of a uh, Del Frisco's guy. You are just a Del Frisco's I'm a, I'm a, guy. I'm a deli yeah. guy. Yeah. Philadelphia yeah. deli guy. You know what I'm saying? Bro, honestly, that was the first time I ever tried New York strip in my life was Del Frisco's when I was like 22 it? years old. Who I've bro- eaten at every steakhouse in Philadelphia more than likely. Yeah, no, it must be every. nice. 
I mean, that's fine. What else? <laughs> that's fine. Capital Grill, solid. Cap- it, it is. I think it's a little costly you know, for it. Bro. I whip up a fucking you. main <laughs> flank steak in the bro. We Brady's cook kitchen. We <laughs> cook so many steaks at this house. There's just gonna be a permanent smell of steak. Like we were going to the butchers. We had some bro. We had yeah. so much steak. I heard y'all bought some uh, good meats down there. Oh yeah. Yo, yeah. a boy Brandon. That my motherfucker was. He was buying some, but that shit, bro. That shit's not that good. Like he was buying some bougie ass two hundred dollar <laughs> steaks. I was like, yo, give me a flank. I got a piece of flank for, for like fifty bucks, like yeah. this fucking big, bro. Last year, pop him. We bro, were getting he, it in there. He was literally like, he cooked the entire. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> this kid had Asian, like bro. eight different first, fucking. First of all, Asian, first of all, bro, the one boy, night that's my boy. My man left the grill on <laughs> for an hour while Joey was cutting weight, and like I walked by a couple Smoke's times, blowing in my face. Bro, there's no f- meat on the grill, and I'm like, yo, I was like, are you gonna put the meat on the grill? An hour, the gr- and then he boiled the. He boiled the uh, potatoes and just never did anything with them. Next morning, woke up, they were just cooked. Never ate them. They just he's like, oh, it just got too late. Just never, just never did anything. Somebody said them. every time he left the room and came back, his shorts got shorter and right. shorter. <laughs> well, that's what they Listen, said. We're not, we're not going to get into it. <laughs> yeah, but that was he was one of the victims. He, homie. he was a he was a victim. <laughs> Even even fucking Lloyd was roasting on me. Yeah. Lloyd was like, "Yo, what the fuck is up with this kid?" <laughs> the fuck? His shorts got Bro. shorter and shorter. Yeah. yeah. Lloyd was like, "Yo, did you like did not you mean to pack those?" Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, there was so many good. It was laughs. great though. Yo, you know what was cool too is we all watched. Uh, I was watching the movie Three Hundred before I fight. Okay. I, it's, solid, it's like it's like flick. it's one. Of, yeah, I love I love that movie. Uh, and then the whole team watched the uh, the documentary that's not released yet. Yeah, and uh, I heard that it's good. Was cool, bro. I kind of felt some type of way because I was like, God forbid somebody makes fun of me because I I like cry a little bit in yeah. it because it's tough to talk about. Why would someone like, make fun yeah. of you? Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I guess that was just like my insecurity yeah. of it. And bro, nobody did, and then everybody, was fucking, and then everybody started yeah. like Sean it clapped, and everybody clapped. And it was cool. Like yeah. then I was like, let's let's go I kill see, this motherfucker. I seen yeah. it twice. <clears throat> That's my second time, and yeah, it hit just as men, just as hard men, as the first if time. If you don't, if you do not know, men men stop. It's 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 okay to let a little thug tear cry. Hell you yeah! To, if you have to cry, all time. Time. I was crying in the cage. Cool. But don't cry to quit. Cry to get through it. I yeah. do believe okay. in that. Cry okay. to cry to get through it. That's it's gonna be a long episode. But we need to stop yeah, for sure. It's a good job. We right here at. 40 minutes. You can hey, listen, we missed listen, it man. on a we Sunday and we got man. good content. So, if you don't already know, <laughs> and if you ain't already signed up for Steady Picks, you fucking played yourself. You played yourself. The picks are free. I told you I was the lock. The so. picks are free. We're fucking giving them out. My boy Rob Font was an underdog. We're out here slaying them. Mm-hmm. I am surprised he was an underdog, but I don't remember the fight. He whooped his ass. He ha- he beat Yana. How like, many uh how many Long Islands are gonna drink? Six no, how many are you gonna drink at my wedding? I'm not I'm nonstop. Nonstop? I'm nonstop. 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 What is it, a Long Island? It's like five different liquors. I would have to pull up like a room oh, or something. Bro, see, like, I'd be fucked. But they go dead. down so smooth, mm. but then they bust your ass. Like you like, look at <laughs> your face gets real red when you drink. No, like bro, I get hydrant. white. Dog. Get white? I'd be getting yeah. sick. White tur. I, I got so I have to <laughs> if it's possible. Uh, if I if I mix at all, yeah, I'm throwing the fuck up. I'm so sensitive. Well, you're throwing the How fuck up. How many days out for your wedding? Where we at? Twenty one. Twenty one days. Twenty one days. Man, it's gonna make. An and I have woman. to go to the UFC that next day. You ain't making it, buddy. I have to. So yeah. I have to. They're gonna have to ambulance my ass there. <laughs> Call the ambulance. <laughs> If we were allowed to get IVs, you could get an IV, but uh, you're not allowed to. I'm not? Nope. Outside of UFC competition? Only if you're in the hospital, brother. So maybe it'll be your luck and you'll end up in the hospital. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. It's on you, man. I'm going to have PD like all night. Send this thing out. Yo, wait till you see this fucking suit, though. Great episode. I uh, hope you guys made some money last weekend. Make some money this weekend. Sign up at Steady Picks. Peace.